so peace out Remember you're discreet out Get ready for defeat now I'm gonna make you bleed out Listen on repeat now And read out all the weak now Get up Alright Now let's do the whole share game thing Are they live at the memorial? Not that I can see. I usually get. Well, then again, if he's on his phone, I wouldn't see anyway. Let me uh go face space. Maybe. I don't see it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <sighs> Mute myself. I hate the sound of my own voice. Yeah, I don't want to. It's to me, and this this is Mute myself. This, I hate the sound of my. Own <laughs> this is that's just my preference. Die. I can't. It's hard enough to deal with the death of anybody. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't care if it's a family member, friend. You know, um, anybody. I don't want to go and have to see them in sad faces more than. Yep. Been once. I, I know that might sound kind of selfish. You know what I mean? But well, it's your memories. Yeah, I just that's I just like I I want to remember me and Maze joking around, talking shit about Liddell downstairs after he got kicked out of a meeting. Not this really heavy atmosphere and him lying still. Right. right. Or you know any of that. Right. So no, that, that's why I don't do funerals. Like it's the same when uh. I get news that one of my brothers have died, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not flying across the country to go feel sad. I'm going to remember the times where we were shamming or where we went out on Tejon Street and got completely obliterated, try picking fights with MPs, you know, fun, fun things like that. Mm -hmm. What's up, everybody? Good morning. Morning, good morning. Yeah. I'm just uh, L. Vice. Hefe today. <laughs> El Vice Hefe, yeah. El Vice Hefe today. We got they, the dynamic duo in the studio. Again, if I knew where to, I don't know what the buttons are. But yeah, yeah, Wintus and Mickey are at the, uh, are they both there? They're both at the memorial. I saw Wintus's car and um, Mickey's, little, I guess is Mickey's little, like, few second reel. Yeah. So I will be there tomorrow live in effect, you know. Um, but even, even when, you know, you know, when, when I hate to say it, Uncle Woodrow passed, you know mm. what I mean? It was like, I, I'm good. I can't even, I, and I hate to say, I didn't, you know, when you go up and you view the body, <clears throat> I mm -hmm. couldn't look. Mm -hmm. No, I've, uh, I feel that. I just went up and, you know, I kind of held my mom and, you know, and walk with my dad, but I just, I just don't. My best no. friend Chris died. No, I I did go to, to to the to the memorial service, but I didn't really do much interaction inside, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like, <clears throat> I think I I was forced to attend to one was uh, Staff Sergeant Cardenas in Afghanistan. Uh, he got hit by a mortar. Um, and you said that's when you went to. That's one that I was forced to go to. Yeah. Um, the other one was uh, my former roommate sergeant lewis and uh I, I was broken up about that one he had people flying in from italy because that was his former duty station to come mm -hmm. see him and i'm like i'm never doing this again mm -hmm. i got in fights with staff sergeants i got in fights with first sergeants like you're going everyone's going mm -hmm. i'm not mm -hmm. i'll make a damned appointment that day watch what happens see if i miss an appointment someone's gonna be climbing up your ass yeah. you know or yeah. we can just agree where i can sit here and mop the floors while you guys are up there I'm still doing work. I'm just, you know, my own semi-religious preference here. Yeah. yeah. I won't go <clears throat> unless it's a family member. And, and all my little cousins that were, you know, in that life are either, they, they pretty much been taken up out of here. But I won't, I don't, I won't go to a funeral. And this is just me, don't y'all don't get mad at me. But if you've been, if you're in that gang life and you, you know, some, yeah, I'm not going. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll do my prayers from home and you know, i don't wear no rest in peace t-shirts i'm not doing that the same should be said about soldiers because it is a choice as well yeah but you there's a call there's there, there's, there's a, a call a, and a, i yeah. get it it's just it, it's a choice like i don't know i i just don't attend funerals period yeah so I, I don't do none of that i i wear more politically based you know 
comedy t-shirts and rest in peace t-shirts for anyone yeah uh, i would like to get a uh eric mays t-shirt that has some sort of political based comedy on it you know not not ones that i would get in trouble for wearing per se as such as ones already out there circulating I know what you mean. my face does not need to be hanging mean. around that kind of shirt you better not see trevor with a handkerchief head negro shirt on <laughs> oh man <laughs> if i were to wear that i'd expect my friends to beat me with baseball bats like, but no, no, I just, I don't, you know, and I really, I don't even want to think about it. Yeah. I don't. So what did you, well, what did we think of, uh, let's start with Wednesday's meeting. Um, well, I didn't get a chance to watch the meeting because technically I had my own meeting. Oh yeah, that's I, right. That's yeah, right. But I missed the meeting because I had to take my daughter. She was here for spring break. So I had to take her to Detroit to the airport. So Man, I didn't even know your daughter was in town. Well, I ain't either. You know, when they come home from school, <laughs> you'll hardly see them. But then we were on the way down to the airport. And she was like, yeah, dad, I, I fell asleep over my boyfriend's house. And I'm like, what? What?" First off, you have a boyfriend? I know him. You know, I know <laughs> him. You know, they were, they've been together since high school. Uh, but <clears throat> I was like, wait a minute. I ain't even see you. Mm-hmm. You could have came and fell asleep over here. Yeah, right? Like. A spring but, break, you, you could be downing some Red Bull, playing some video games, listening to one of those music. We could have went to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> then she was telling me about, she was like, I don't even taste liquor anymore. I'm like, what you mean you don't taste liquor anymore? And then she started naming liquors, and I'm like, yeah, you know, baby, you your daddy's baby. Because when I, I started thinking, like, when I was in college and I came home for spring break, I wasn't trying to be sitting up with my old ass mom and dad talking about, oh, remember the time? I'm trying to get out here in these streets. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I was a little different when I was coming home from leave. I was bringing the pints home mm-hmm. and sitting down, pouring myself drinks while my mom would ramble on about the old days. And my dad would he'd take my little shot and he'd sniff it. <clears throat> and then you go, whoo, he put it down like dad was getting drunk off the fumes mm-hmm. as I'm sitting there pounding back like Everclear and stuff like. My liver can't take that no more. Look, yo, at my fundraiser, you know, the one that was, mm-hmm. you know, in friend, you know, ambushed, the, ambushed. <clears throat> my drink of choice when I'm in that environment is an old fashioned. Yep. That's a damn good drink to have. No, an old fashioned is not the cheapest drink. No. So, it's like, what, a $8 drink these days? Something like that. Yep. I paid up to 16 Jesus. But I didn't know. Yeah, I, I guess. I mean, it depends on your bar and bartender. Exactly. So um, I go and I grab an old fashioned and my mom's like, what is that? That looks nice. Let me see if she did just like she like she smelled it. Mm-hmm. She's like, oh, you're drinking this. And I'm like, <laughs> Ma, it's, it's, yeah, I'm dr- what you want me to do? It's not a paperweight. <laughs> like, but yeah, she was probably expecting you to get like one of those super watered down drinks Man. that just has a little bit of color. So it looks like you're. Yeah. For taking libations, yeah, nah, I'm, uh, I don't drink very much. It just seems like every time I do, I get caught. Yeah, <laughs> nah. I, <laughs> now, speaking of which, I'm picking up a bottle of whiskey when I, well, I might go get some scotch when I get out of here. I, this is going to be a very Fancy. chill weekend. Yeah, I, I like drinking scotch. Like that burns. Yes. Well, you know the drinks, the yeah, glasses. I, like yeah, see, that. I, that came with a bottle of scotch. I mean, like I'm a more of a Hennessy. D- do say, you know, yeah, and I'll try to act like I'm bougie and put my pinky up when I take a shot or something like that. Yeah, you know, like, no. I'll pour myself about two or three fingers and uh, throw in an ice cube, let the ice, ice cube half melt. Mm-hmm. That way you're not getting that burn. It's really sweet when, it, when you do it like that. Yeah. You get like the scents and the flavors of like vanilla and shit. But getting back to, to Wednesday, dude. I, I There's one thing that I, I it kills me. To see leadership around here and not understand that actions reflect leadership, right? Mm-hmm. So when, say, the crowd gets out of order, because mm-hmm. it happens, and yes, I've been part of that out of order crowd. And what I mean by out of order is we get loud. They do something stupid, we let them know. I, I can't blame us for that. You're doing something stupid, mm-hmm. right? Their reaction to it is what makes me never take them seriously. Mm-hmm. It's screaming, it's yelling. It's like a bad parent. Mm-hmm. You know, a child sits there and accidentally spills some milk, and their first response is to scream at them. So wait a minute, let me not to cut you off. Was Wednesday's meeting the one when um 
when number two was sitting in number nine seat. Yeah. Okay. I, I saw like some clips in it. Maybe. A yeah. They did the swap a route. Yeah, um, so if you couldn't tell that there's some BS was about to happen that day, you know. Uh, so there, there <clears throat> was an excuse from Liddell. <clears throat> or, or I can't think of anything I can call her as a pseudonym that won't get me in trouble. So uh, there was an excuse from Liddell saying that Dennis bullies women. And that he is oh, a monster and X, Y, and Z. And he was putting his hand in Eva's face the previous time. All right. When Eva's breath smells like she's been eating ass, of course he's going to put his fa- his hand over there. Like, keep your stink away from me. Mm-hmm. You know? Of course he's going to do that. He didn't touch her. He was just like, because she was encroaching upon him previous meeting he's like no nah, uh-uh stay over there oh, you have your divider in the previous meeting yeah was... in a previous meeting he had put his hand toward her face like this open palm like back up okay that's it never touched her and it wasn't like a push it was gentle and slow like you need to back up you're, you're coming into my personal space now but wait a minute where was the police at when all this was going on no oh, previous meeting like come on they don't care if it's eva they're they're going to be protecting eva I think she's like on a first name basis with every cop in the city. Right. So Liddell sits down and says, well, Dennis is bullying Eva and women and da, 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 da. And I ain't going to take that. And I'm sitting here like, I don't sound like Dennis. Dennis is really a mild mannered guy. I've never, I've only seen him yell once. I've only seen him angry twice. You know, I've been it. watching him for over two years now. Here's the thing. It's, it's not, and I hate to say fair because it isn't, you know, I'm just, I'm, I guess it's just because I'm naive and I try to, you know, do the right thing. It's like, I, but it is naive because ain't nobody fair. Don't nobody care about. Yeah. Life ain't fair, bro. Yeah. You know, and especially with this politics, you know what I mean? So it's like, what do you do when someone's always, they, there's like you can tell there's a narrative and you can tell there 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 there's something that they're trying to do. Yeah, they're they're trying to tell a story like a D and D campaign almost, right? Right. But like they're they, setting up for a lawsuit. There you go. Or they're trying to provoke something into mm-hmm. happening. Um, like I'm we're gonna keep on pushing Dennis and pushing Dennis and pushing I I'm I'm sorry, I don't even want to say Councilman Pfeiffer. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, I mean he's a friend of the show or at least the the network. I'd I'd call him Dennis. Like He's a good enough dude, and if he has a problem with it, then of course he can speak up, and we will refer to him by his title. And you know, I just, I just, his title with me. If you're a doctor, I'm gonna call you doctor. If you, you know, councilman, I'm just gonna do that. Yeah, so. if you're my friend, you're you're getting Paul, you're getting called like Tom, Dick, and Jerry. You know, it right. doesn't matter right. if you're if you're some dude that I, I hardly know, I've hardly ever spoken to, and I know nothing about you. Then you're Doctor X, Y, and Z until proven different. Hold on, what's Jessica saying? I'm, I ain't even looking at the chat. What's she <laughs> said? Don't believe me. Okay, hold on. Where we go? What's she? Okay, hold on. You know what's funny? Herb had heckling at his audience. What did I do? You click it again. You, you accidentally double click. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Thing is, when you pop an order, they shut up. The difference between Herb and Liddell is respect. They don't respect her like they respect it. That is absolutely correct. So, uh, I. I don't know who Herb is, but Winfrey. Is oh, Herbert Winfrey? oh, Councilman Winfrey. I just saw Herb. I'm like, who's Herb? Right. So here's the deal: when you respectfully address the audience, respectfully, never with contempt, never with anger. It doesn't matter if you're being spoken over by the audience or not. Mm-hmm. Keep your cool, and you say respectfully, guys. I can't hear. I'm trying to. Man, who are you calling? Did I call? All right, that means. Uh-huh. You heard that though? Oh, thin walls. Oh, okay. So <clears throat> you don't lose your cool. You don't yell. You respectfully say, hey, guys, I can't hear. We're trying to do this. Can you please tone it down? Make sure you use the same type of tone you would use with your boss at work. Why? Mm-hmm. Because we're paying your damn salary. Mm-hmm. So I am your boss. Be respectful. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm tired of politicians taking it for granted that I'm in this seat. I can do whatever I want, and they're just going to reelect me because I'm incumbent. No. Nah. Uh-uh. Yeah. Oh. Accountability is a big thing. That's what these recalls are for. That's what election day is for. And you're going to be held accountable. Yeah, no, I, I, that's the, the part of the thing is, and, and I'm going to get to with, with Shardy's because I, I, I saw that. Um, a lot of the stuff that people talk to me about has 
nothing to do with a school board member. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I can't just sit there and be like, I can't help you. I still try to, you know what I'm saying? I, I know people that. Yeah, you know, if it's know, not within your power, you know right, where to send I know them. Where to send them? You know what I mean? But I'm not just going. That ain't my job. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. Like a. But well, so further on in the night, Liddell and Dennis are sitting next to each other. Everyone knows that's a recipe for disaster. Yeah. That because. Liddell has got a chip on her shoulder and Dennis is, he's no BS. He'll call you as he, as he sees you. Mm -hmm. And as she is yelling at him, screaming at him, berating him, he's sitting there, he's taking it and he gets up to walk away. Mm -hmm. Liddell tried to fight him, tried to fight Art and tried to fight Rich. Now look. Here's no, something like actual fight, no, no, fist fight. No, no, she was no, trying to no, Mike Tyson. No, she didn't. Okay, no, she, she was looking like no, she, she was. No, she didn't. She didn't get up out of the chair until the police got there. Hold me back, hold me back. There you go. I'm just saying, this was that's how it you can looked tell like it was, it was orchestrated. Oh, yeah, she didn't get up out of that chair until the police got there. I'm, I watched that's the part that I, I'm like, what, what is this? You know, can, I didn't know that. Can we talk about Mighty Midget or? Or Mighty Mouse, that cop, for a minute. Hey, I ain't talking about no cops. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Look, that guy's one of the same ones that responded to the girl that was killed on my street, right? Like, he and I talk, but he is short. Mm -hmm. He's going to get a nickname. Fuck you. <laughs> right? He's vertically challenged. I like this. I don't like his hoodie. That I saw wearing. that. Like, this the biker hoodie? Flint no. Flint cop? K9 unit with a skull in and, yeah. and then the cross well it, they weren't crossbones I think they were cross leashes like I bro, saw that. that is the wrong icon of or, you know imagery you to be having as a cop period now you see why I'm scared of police you, why, don't you have, why don't you have like uh, uh, I don't know what were, what were those bears from the 80s with the little symbols on their stomach like the Care Bears? Yeah, have a Care Bear with a little police badge trying to give a hug. That's what that was their superpower. Like the one, like they would, I don't know if they would rub their stomach and their power would come out. Yeah, yeah. Like he, he needs that, <laughs> right? Like, so a Care Bear with a police badge trying to give a hug. Yeah, hey, no, how about you, you engender a little bit more love toward our police officers instead of, don't make me fear you. Don't, don't put yeah. up images that cause fear. Yeah. Like, shit, dude, you're not a pirate. Yeah, that, I saw that. Yeah, I, I, I didn't. I didn't watch that meeting again, but I saw, I saw, Pastor Pastor Eddie, what you doing, man? Is this, is this, his, your comments are coming. Oh, it's not coming up on there because it's not formatted for it. He's uh, oh, okay. putting up like emojis. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Yeah, he's got one with a uh, sticker going like this and then oh, another the one like 100%. Nah, like, yeah, I think he's talking about the Care Bears here. That's what he's sending. Oh, okay, okay. I don't All know right, if these Because I, I can't see it on this computer. Yeah. Can you see it up there? No. Okay. That's why I looked down to my uh, okay. to my right. I got my phone for that kind of stuff. I'm the kind um, of feminist who believes that women who pick fights with men should get rocked like a man would. All right, this is coming from Jessica Stewart. Before anyone sits there and starts saying, "I'm I'm," I've uh, never, I've never hit a woman in my life. Like that's something that I can say without thinking about it. Like I've never smoked crack in my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have to sit here and be like, uh, man, it was that. No, I've never done it. Mm -hmm. Have I shaken one to stop it myself, to stop myself from getting hit? Yes. My college girlfriend threw a shot put. Mm -hmm. What'd she throw at you? Her fist. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the hardest I've been hit in my life. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, I wasn't expecting it. And she was just that mad at me. You know what I mean? But it was like, wait a minute, I'm not about to just take another one of them. I got to give me a hug. <laughs> I'm not taking two of them. No way. No, I, I, in my adult life, I make a, a point to avoid certain problems, right? So I've never been put in a situation where a woman could hit me or it would have to return. Then again, I crashed her motorcycle. Oh, yeah. You deserve that shit. I wrecked her motorcycle. You deserve so, that yeah, shit. After... I wrecked it and had to paint it a special color because I wrecked it the first time. And she told me, don't get on the bike. And I got on the bike doing willies and yeah. you deserve that shit. Yeah. So she, yeah. But no, um, I can't say like, if I'm getting my ass beat, if someone's throwing blows on me, 
I'm going to return, right? Mm -hmm. Equal rights and equal lefts. (laughs) (laughs) I never heard that one before, man. I'm just saying, right? Like, if I'm, if she's waylaying on me, I'm going to have to defend myself and balling up ain't going to work. Yeah. Now I have to re- I have to give respect to Mr. Woodson and Rich and mm-hmm. you know Dennis because not only did they not react, they backed up, right. hands up, back up. Yeah, that would because there's cops there. You know exactly how that's going to go with the cops. Yeah, get them. Yeah, it doesn't matter in that case if I mean okay, it's Flint. It might damn well matter mm-hmm. skin color, but guaranteed, man anywhere near a woman in a violent situation that man's getting tackled right now if there's a couple extra kicks put in there might depend i look i look the last this is why this is why i won't break up another i won't get into to domestics i felt art when he said that um the last fight that i got into y'all yes i will fight i'm a i'm a i'm a politician that will i will beat your ass man (laughs) but i got it was you you belong in the same era as cassius clay because he had people try to fight him and he was stabbing people throwing him over a bridge telling the judge that's just how kentuckians respond but but no i was at i had i had to go pick up some stuff from the cleaners Mm -hmm. and this dude and his and his i don't know if his girlfriend wife somebody but he was just you know, I got I got out of my Jeep and I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Like, stop it. Mind your mother business. And I'm like, yo, don't hit her again. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he looked right at me, right in my face, and looked right at her and gave her a stiff one. So as soon as he had a he get as soon as that one flew, guess what? He had one coming right back at him for me. Like I told you, bah. And guess what? She had that person, that shoe coming right back at me. Mm-hmm. So I'm he beat her. I beat him. She beat me. Yeah. I leave her swollen just like them because I'm trying to defend her. Yeah. No. Like, I, I don't get involved. I see that shit happen. I just call cops. Now, in Flint, that means absolutely nothing because we only ever have like five cops on duty. So yeah. they're not showing up, but at least it's recorded. But man, I'm not because I, exactly what happened to you is what's normally going to happen. Mm-hmm. Don't beat him up. Don't hurt him. He loves me. He's just having a bad day. Or even when you got me the hard knuckle gloves, because when I was about to yeah. at the at the school with the what's his name, Cole, the science project dude. Yeah, yeah, that the was pedophile. Out here handing people out the life, the the, the the gift that keeps on giving. When he was, I was about to beat the shit out of him at the at the board meeting because he was about to jump on a female teacher. Remember mm-hmm. that? And he was, uh, and I had to think like I can't hit him. I can't let his blood touch my blood. Then I'm gonna be I'm gonna be victim number fifty. <laughs> so, good news by the way. If you get to the hospital within like a day or two, they can flush it out of your system. Uh, all the blood out of my system? No, no, no. The the, the AIDS. How they going? The HIV. How they? I don't know. The they they hit you with really. Blood. They hit you with some really hard antivirals before it has time to take root in your system. Man, I I still would have just been like. I, I mean, know, that's I'm one dead. of those. Don't take the chance, but yeah, if the like, chance ha- gonna, like yeah. if it happens, yeah, you know, just as a heads up. Five cops on duty, and they're all at council chamber protecting Liddell. Yes. Yes. Now, uh... The thing is, they're all elected. hmm Also, I gotta, I gotta address something I read in last night's uh, so, comments when uh, they were doing the interviews. Someone said they should appoint a man. They can't... Can a homie get a good afternoon? Good afternoon. Or morning. Or evening. Anyway, someone said they should select a man. They can't leave Dennis up there alone. And I got to say, guys, that's fucked up. You're, you're forgetting Liddell is sitting right the fuck there. Mm-hmm. That, that, there's two whole men on that council, Dennis and Liddell. Hey, Miss King. What's up, Mr. Steve? It has over Bruce. five squad cars. Yes. Yeah, that was Bruce. What's up, I mean, Mr. of Steve? course they're going to have more than five squad cars. Um, they have to at least put on a show. Now, see how many of them cops haven't put on a badge in like three weeks because we're would, just chilling. Why would, why would they even do that? Like Eric, they, they, national they, news. They have to make it look like Flint's trying to do well. I mean, it's just like Rando Joe. You tell him he's going to be on camera, right? Mm-hmm. He's going to dress up. 
mm-hmm. Flint is going to be on national camera. Mm-hmm. It's going to dress up. So it's going to have, you know, several squad cars, a bunch of cops. It's going to have all of our affluent and well-to-dos. It's going to have all of our church leaders and all of our 501c3 nonprofits showing up, saying what they've done and how Eric helped them and how you can help them now. And you know, one's just putting on a show. <sighs> Like the folks who actually live here know what's actually going on. The folks who actually spoke to Eric know or yeah, know what he was about. Mm-hmm. Don't pay attention to that shit. Like I yeah, it's all a facade. I hate the corruption. I hate how people use their influence and their I don't like to say power because it is power, but I just don't like to say power because you know, we're in positions of influence, like we, we you know if you say position of power then that influence and power can mean the same thing yeah but the motivation behind it you know yeah. it just separates the two because if you are a mayor and you use your influence to do bad things then that's your power tripping mm-hmm. but if you are a mayor and you use your influence to help the people like he could have done with the with the ARPA money, then that's that's not showing that you're powerful. That's showing that you influenced the people to, you know, the council to do the right thing. You know what I mean? Like yeah. um but I can't I can't say what I want to say. Okay. Yeah, you know what I can't I can't say what I want to say, but it's like when you do things when you Idiot. do things to 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 when you to, I just don't like how you you mess over a whole city of 80,000 people. Mm-hmm. And then when somebody challenges your seat, you mess with their life. Mm-hmm. So this is almost like some Russia like, shit. Because what's the what's the dude's name that Navalny that was trying to challenge Putin? Oh. And they kept poisoning now, him. And, it, is that the one they poisoned? Is that the one that they... they sent him to prison? Yeah, that they sent to prison. And then there's another one that... Uh, Russians have a favored style of getting away of political... Or getting political opponents out the way and that's throwing them through fucking windows there there's been like 50 plus cases in russia of that happening when someone talks about putin when they're in a political position they they say they fell but skyscraper windows don't usually break with human body weight just saying i don't know death if they died in a plane crash but i know he was like exiled Mm. and was in prison no, the one that died in the plane crash was the uh, head of the Wagner Group, which was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, their yeah. answer to the uh, to BlackRock. Yeah, because they were gonna they were gonna flip, right? Or they were he was uh, he, he, he they turned flip. around yeah. and uh, because he he got tired of the Russian generals' incompetence, and then he stopped after a while and he's like, "All right, look, this ain't this ain't legit because I have nowhere to go if I lose this fight with Russia, so I'm just yeah, gonna you calm can't down." Come on over here. But we're gonna charge him with war crimes, right? Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> hell yeah. Yeah. The war crime shit. He's not even gonna make it to the trial. Man's walking straight to the firing line. Do not pass go. Do not collect a hundred dollars. No, is that influence or is that power? Because he had dudes in Africa. He had like an army so, everywhere. It's like, and they followed him because they because of him. In like, this case, I'd say a bit of both because he had influence over Putin. He couldn't control Putin, but he could, you know gently push him in general directions while others control. like if you walk into a wagner group battalion and you and he don't like you and he could just say shoot that man that's power right it, it depends on the context in that situation right okay okay but yeah i i just don't like how just run a fair campaign man if you're doing what the hell you're supposed to do then you could you wouldn't care about like i don't challenge me there's i don't like flint politics i don't either i mean a lot of a lot of the country is going the same way but you can't stand or take two rando uh folks running right Mm -hmm. they can't stand on their own principles and their own morals and their own x y and z their own policies they have to sit there and sling mud at each other or like I don't care about that. Tell me what you're gonna do to change this shit up. And then the the one thing I always hear from either selectees last night or people running from positions, it's if elected, I will. Man, 
you don't have to be elected to stand up for your community. You I will stand up for my community whether elected or not. I will use my elected position to fight for my uh, community doing X, Y, and Z. If I don't get it, then I'm going to stand up for my community doing, you know, A, B, C. Uh, I heard so much of that last night. And here's a message to everyone who was uh, interviewed last night for the first word seat. First thing y'all should do, whoever gets it, I mean, we, we all know the fix is in, but if any of you are true to your words, first thing you should do is put a resolution on the floor to hold an election for that seat. The very first thing, first day you walk in, already have it done. Talk to talk to Bill. Call Bill Kim and be like, hey, I want this resolution written up and I want it on the floor, like next meeting. I want it put on the on the agenda. Because... I saw the chat on 810 last night. I I was there. I was cracking jokes and being an asshole the way I do. And I saw everyone saying, oh, I like this person. I like Rose Morrow. I like this person. Okay, Mr. Leon. Okay, cool. We don't fucking matter in this case. Right. All that matters were the seven people that were there. That's all that matters. Their votes and their decisions. And hell, even though uh, Eva wasn't there, she's still going to get a say because there is no, uh, apparently, no decision till Monday. Right, but it's just, we don't matter. The first words voices don't matter. They all st- stood up there, spoke up. But they were asking some flowery-ass questions. Right. Like, <sighs> hearing Quincy say, I'm not going to, Vote for anyone that's going to sit up here and be controversial. Okay, look, I can understand not wanting controversy. But with this council, speaking out against council president, council vice president, they turn it into a huge old thing. That's controversy. So the what you're saying is... is you about know, controversy. Yeah. There's nine people up here for a fucking reason. Everybody, dang, excuse me, I'm cussing. Everybody ain't going to think rant. the same. So it's, it's, it doesn't have to be... Violent controversy, but a difference of thought. You know what I mean? That's kind of like it could be controversial. Yeah, it oh. could be a controversy that I need my roads fixed in the first ward, mm-hmm. and you don't in the in the ninth ward. Yeah, so let's shift some money, and we may disagree on it. Okay, that's controversy, but I think what he's trying to say is like what everyone thinks of when it's controversy. You know, like Eric, loud yeah. and, and on the news. Except every time that someone disagrees with Council President Lewis or Council Vice President Candace Machette or whenever Quincy finds his feelings and climbs the fucking side, we always get these loud arguments and, well, you don't and da 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 and screaming out. So what? You're just going to vote for someone that has a mouse voice and is just going to go along and get along? Quincy, think about your fucking words, bro. I mean, you always say the quiet part out loud. Maybe it'd behoove you just to shut up. You're letting us in on the game here. You don't want that, buddy. I mean, you've got myself, you've got Clack, you've got Mickey, you've got Wintus, you've got uh, Sister Audrey Muhammad, you've got all 810 plus other uh, podcast groups here that are dedicated to Flint politics and calling you out on your bullshit. Stop giving us the easy route, please. You've made it to where I don't have to do half as much research. Sit down, shut up. And if you're going to open your mouth, get a fucking dentist. The views of Trevor Berryhill <laughs> <laughs> do not reflect 810 News Media Group. You know, but I, you know, I, and I'm probably going to get jumped on for saying this, but still, I said it before. I've known Quincy before this. Mm-hmm. I like Quincy. I don't like Quincy's politics right now. You like Quincy Murphy, not Councilman Murphy. It, there you go. Okay, I, I can don't say like I can see politics that. because you can't, you cannot take away what he has done for his people. Like Quincy, been cutting grass for years. This is nothing new. Mm-hmm. Like this is nothing new. Like it's not just cutting grass. Like, and I know that that's not the only qualification of a councilman, but he picks up trash and at a school that with his own lawnmower. Okay, I mean, like, like a school. He was paying; they were paying the the consumers over there. So, like, there there are things that there are things that Quincy Murphy 
has done in you know in his life that is to be respected and you can't take away his credit now no, i won't take that away from councilman but... murphy is something different yeah and and i don't necessarily like you know and this is and i told him the other day when i saw him at the thing you know and i, and I had to you know i i've I haven't really, I don't talk about people's person, you know, I don't, you know, personally, I talk about political, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, I don't want people to talk about me personally. So I don't, even though it happens, you know, and, and if it can, I can go there, but I just choose not to do that. I told them like, bro, I, I apologize for, you know, the things that I said about you personally, you know what I mean? Like my bad Quincy, like I did, I really did, but I don't like the politics. Like, don't get me wrong. <clears throat> He pisses me off when he sits up there and he goes on a tirade and he gets lost in his thoughts and in his feelings and he basically punishes us for it and we have to listen to it. That's what gets me. What gets me is his corrupt behavior. You know, one thing I always go back to the the when they're doing the bids for the cars and only one dealership got the bid paperwork. Mm -hmm. and, 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 his, and the dude's wife work there worked at city hall i mean it, it was corrupt from the floor up right and quincy sits there why do we have to investigate this now why can't it wait till after the election oh, and no, we Ron still said, mickey this clack and we still don't have a damned uh investigation into it mm -hmm. right and the very next week he's quiet as hell or he's defending it like that's bid rigging that's that's like that's bid. there ain't even no bid like that's like that's yeah, there were no competitive bids. Right, that's the whole thing about doing the RFP. The whole process is use. We see who with the competed the competitive part. Mm -hmm. Who got the best price? We we gonna go with the best price now. Who got? And you know, there have been times on many of the shows, uh, yours and mine, on, on the Winters Hall show, on several of the shows where people in the comments started getting really nasty about Quincy. I'm talking like personal life shit. And I've had to come down on that, and you've come down on that, and we've both said, hey, cut that shit the fuck yeah. out. Yeah. We've had Mickey and Wintis both come down and say, hey, cut that shit the fuck out, guys. We we don't go there. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it political. Keep it to the shit he said. But anything outside those council chambers that doesn't have a political stamp on it, keep it the hell out. That ain't none of our business. And I've walked up to Quincy, and I've apologized to him for our comment section. I'm never going to apologize for the shit I said unless I'm proven absolutely wrong. I'm not sorry. I just the thing that catches me, ahead, ahead, the thing that catches me with him is sometimes he he'll open his eyes, he'll wake up, and he'll start talking some truth, and then he goes right back to being on some bullshit. And then the other night when he starts yelling at the crowd, "This ain't democracy. This you ain't supposed to be up in the crowd screaming and yelling." A few years ago, before you got on that council seat, Quincy, you were doing the exact same fucking thing. So now you're being a damned hypocrite too. Use those critical thinking skills and either shut the fuck up or stand the fuck up. No, I know, I know, Jessica. I just, it's, I just, I just know who, who Quincy is, and I don't like, you know, I, I know what you mean. Um, that, that's just, you know, that's just Flint, I guess. It's not. I, I know, I we know somebody from before, and then you know, it's like. It's even I, like I was doing something and it was like in the summer between, you know, when teachers don't work in the summertime. So like I was working at a t-shirt, my buddy on the t-shirt shop and I saw Quincy. He was like, bro, what you doing? And I'm like, I'm helping my buddy out this summer working in a t-shirt shop. You know, I make, I know how to make shirts too. You know, yeah. like, bro, you bigger than that. Come on in. You know what I mean? And it's like, dang, man, Quincy told me I'm bigger than this. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but so I know him. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I was hard off or anything. It's just, he thought that I was. Yeah. You know, man, which you know it's cool but once he got up there and he started opening his mouth he, he's lost a lot of credibility with the public yeah. the way he's voted the things he stood up for the things he stood against mm -hmm. i mean it's been this way for years since he's been there for a while he's not a new councilman anymore i don't think any of them really are who's, who's potentially potentially running against Quincy? that one i don't know I heard it's AC and look AC Aaron don't Nelson? I don't know AC don't stand a chance in hell though that man yeah. is his comments and truthfully I'd rather Quincy stay there if it's them yeah I mean I think Rich lives in the third and there might have been some talk about that which 
All right, Rich, do your thing. Um, we haven't always gotten along, but I trust Rich a hell of a lot more than I trust Quincy right now. And maybe Quincy getting out of that chair and going back to his roots and, you know, back to helping the community as just a grunt soldier. And he'll figure out where where things actually need to be done. And he'll come back to what's supposed to be right. I think that'd be best for all of us. I think if you give Quincy a favor, other people to influence his decision, but you know, I think he's up there with the bad bunch. I, I really oh, yeah, Ronald, he's not the only one voting for this no. stuff. I just had to circle around to Quincy because that comment that he made, and it really drove me nuts. This is not what democracy looks like. You're not supposed to be out in the crowd. Yet yeah, there's a video of you doing it, buddy. I mean, come on now. When they tossed the acting on Woodsman, I knew the charter was being played, and it stripped the citizens of the little protection it provides. Bruce, here's a fun thing. There's actual documented evidence of Liddell Lewis saying she's not going to follow the charter when it comes to calling uh, for a vote in election for Candace's seat for the seventh ward seat. I posted it to her and she laughed at me. I still stand by what I said. Well, then why are you standing by replacing Eric Mays this quick? Oh, it's part of the charter right there. You just said you ain't going with the charter. What is it? You're either for the charter, 100 percent, no exceptions or you're not, and you need to rewrite it. There is no bending the rules. The charter's made out of paper, not rubber. <clears throat> that is the, the hardest thing I think a lot of people don't understand when they get up there. It's the rules aren't for me in that city charter. They are for the governance of the city. They are to hold you accountable and to hold you within certain bounds so you don't step on me. I just, man, I just knew, because again, I didn't watch the meeting because I had other things, but when I saw the video clips, it's like, why is, why is two sitting where nine would sit? Mm. That's, that's just the rest of the and There was a short moment where Dennis got up from the eight seat and went and sat in the two seat, and I hope he ripped a nasty one over there. Then he went right back to his seat. Like, I, I hope it smelled like corned beef and death. And I hope that when she sat down last night and that cushion pressed and it walk, I hope it wafted up and hit her. Like you could tell by the look on her face. <laughs> Sorry. Lamar Fairland from the YouTube side. That's a grown man. I'm tired of everyone catering to his feelings. That's damned right. Ms. Jessica Stewart, selective rule following is the name of Liddell's game all the way down to how council members should behave toward colleagues and residents. A hundred percent. That's true, Ronald. Is, most people that live in Flint ain't got no damn job. Yeah, but then again, a lot of companies in Flint don't want to hire people from Flint. Yeah. I mean, I, I told you what, Wednesday, my wife had a hell of a time getting a job in Fenton when she was, I think, like 20. Because she lived in Flint. They thought everyone from Flint was, you know, a, a criminal or a thief. And a lot of places in Flint are starting to adopt this attitude now. They want people from Grand Blank, from Fenton, from, you know, Beecher. They want pe people from anywhere and everywhere but Flint. If you want to work in Flint, don't live in Flint. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. And even people like, like me. It's like people... No, the world doesn't mm -hmm. know. Like, people call my job and get me fired because, you know, it's because I'm not down with the get down. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not in the in the Neely crew. So, you know, someone from his crew or somebody calls my job and gets me fired. Yeah. Or, they, you know what I mean? Like, or extra or X, Y, and Z. Yeah, or, you know what I mean? And like, then they try to, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to put a little bit out there. When you and I, you, you took me to the high school on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. uh, what was that? Northern? Took me in Northern. We saw a Flint City building inspector there. Did you guys invite him? Weird. Not weird. Oh, it, exceptionally ordered, weird. Not weird. He said the mayor's office told him to go and assess all of the schools because they need to be. They're gonna. They're gonna demolish them. And so I said, I, I said, are we partnering with you all? At whose expense? You know what I mean? Who's going to yeah. pay for this? Because the board didn't vote to do anything. No. 
last time. That's your fucking property. Exactly. So, and while I agree with tearing down the schools, I don't agree with one governmental entity stepping, stepping on top of another. No. There's a separation of powers for a fucking reason. Yes. No, this is not the first time that I've had to stop the mayor from doing anything. And I'm not even the president, so I, there's limited things that I can do, me personally. I just happen to live in the neighborhood that you know that's right next to Northern, and I see certain things, and I, I'm i Johnny on the spot. I'm at the school. You know? mm-hmm. So when we went there, that's why I wanted to, when we got off the air, I said, remember I said you in a rush? Yeah, I was like, no, nah, I'm like, good. And you're like, where are we going? Like, we're going up to Northern real quick. And I'm so glad that you were with me. Yeah. Because now I have a witness. And now I have a recording mm-hmm. of the of the building inspector saying that the mayor told him to come and assess. Now, what the law says, this is the thing. Mike Black is far from a dumbass. What the law says, they can be on the perimeter of the building without permission of the district mm-hmm. they cannot enter the premises without permission yeah that's trespassing that is trespassing and it's frowned upon he cannot do that this is not the first incident remember when northern when we were mm-hmm. doing the tailgate yep. the day before the day after we did the cleanup one of the board members i'm not going to say her name but y'all can figure out who it is y'all know who the one it was her one board member who's cool with the mayor, who talks to the mayor all the time, gave the mayor permission to go put locks on our gates and a no soliciting sign. Oh, we actually mentioned that one on there. Yes, we did. Yep. That lasted about eight hours. I mean, it, it, it could have only lasted an hour and a half if you just called me. I'd go up there at the angle yeah, grinder and cut that shit off for I, you. No, I don't do things that's out of protocol. I could have done it myself, but no. Superintendent Jones, I needed to send the building manager or whoever, whatever his title is, to come on over here, cut these locks off. And who was there going live and taking pictures and you know what I'm saying when it happened? Right. I want you to know that I know what you're doing, dude. Like he needs something to run on for that eighth war or for that uh eighth district uh congressional seat. Oh look, they're holding up here. I'm doing this. Oh look, city council is X, Y, and Z sitting on the ARPA funds. I'm doing this. Matter of fact, you guys, I wish the camera was on him for a second. He just got super animated. Matter of fact, we were doing the cleanup. Yep. I rode up there. Wantwez Davis just happened to be riding by in his truck. <laughs> I'm doing the clean, and I'm no. I was. I'm. I'm serious as a heart attack. Oh no! I, so, I just. I'm serious anytime I think of that man, I, I I think of someone that has a. A smoother brain than what they're supposed to. Wantwez called. He, I'm like, because I'm pissed off. Mm-hmm. I'm calling. I'm. 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 Wantwez pulled up and he saw me pissed off. So I'm pacing back and forth on the phone. I think I was talking. I've been between Art and Kevin and you know the building because both of the locks, both of the gates had locks on them. Mm-hmm. So I'm sitting there. Wantwez pulls up. Wantwez calls Liddell, and Liddell even said that's not supposed to be there. Weird weird yeah no the, the man he's trying to pull all the stops out right now everything that he's been sitting on for years and everything that he thinks that he can get away with now to just photo op oh look at what i've done for the city oh city council couldn't get this done so i'm allocating the arpa funds or i took the arpa funds put it in the general fund and now i'm spending them like this oh the schools aren't getting their their old Properties torn down fast enough, so I'm forcing the city to do it, and I don't care. Oh, gun violence is a huge problem, so I'm making city council gun free zone, even though there's never been an incident with a gun in there. Hell, I've taken one of the largest ones I own in there. What do you know? No one got hurt. It's just all something to stand in front and showboat for. It's it's political bullshit 101. I mean, fuck. You see, sitting members of Congress do this type of shit all the time. Like when you see a guy from, say, Kentucky or how we'll even go further north from Maine, go to the Arizona Mexico border. Free daddy. No. Now, an incident happened on Monday that not many people know about because I'm not going to to me at Northern High School. Yeah. And. I'm not I can't say, but none of this happened before I said I was going to run against his wife. Not a one. Not a thing. 
Well, the northern thing with the locks did, but he was trying to shut the tailgate down from happening. Yeah, that because, that's completely different. But I mean, yeah, into but, your personal life. Yeah, none of my the, the personal stuff that's happened to me has, especially within the last week or so, none of that stuff has happened. Even with since since before I was running for since I said I was going to run. Yeah. So the stuff that you're gonna that's gonna come out this that's leaking out. I haven't said the stuff that you hear that's gonna come out. Just know that it's all happened because of this. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm gonna say. And it's then all politically motivated. I saw Tia post something on there. Uh, it, that's a little irrelevant to current, but got to go back to it. You know, because now we've got all this out. Um, saying Attorney Kim is the one to blame for this mess because he's the one that makes it legal. Not his shit. Don't make it legal. Mm-mm. He's not a judge. Mm-mm. He's not a legislator. He gives opinions. But I've seen attorneys give legal opinions and then them and a CEO get arrested Mm -hmm. and thrown in prison. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make it legal. He doesn't write the law. Hell, he doesn't even interpret the law. He just argues the law. And the only time he can argue the law is when he's in front of a judge. I don't see this is how you know that you can't just automatically trust lawyers. We had a lawyer, the school board. Our lawyer, I got. You know, I don't trust lawyers. I trust lawyers about as much as I trust cops. I got it. Our, our, he wrote four different legal opinions for the same incident. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, bro, what is this? You're protecting yourself, not us. Not the this. These four opinions are protecting you. You're saying I gave him a legal opinion, Mm -hmm. but all four of them contradict each other. Yeah, like so. Attorney Kim's legal opinion of. Council people can accept presents to their nonprofits is legal. It's not a bribe. That, no, it's that they can accept it if it goes through their nonprofit. Through their nonprofit. Yeah. X, Y, and Z. That's still called an indirect bribe. That's just playing with the wording a little bit to make it sound different. I mean, honestly, why do we accept his opinions? Because he's a city attorney and because those opinions happen to line up with some people we're trying to do. In reality, if you were to put that opinion in front of a judge, the judge is going to slap it down and still arrest those two. It, all you have to do is find an agency willing to give a fuck about Flint to come in here and investigate. I mean, but I mean, you're, you're better off finding a damned unicorn. That's why me and you were talking about the, the, the this little branch of an agency that's going to, mm-hmm. that we're going to develop to uh, <laughs> investigate local corruption. Like, because, Honestly, uh, I think Wintus is the one that brought it up the other day. We've seen video of people going to FBI, IRS, you know, uh, uh, got ATF, all these different investigatory groups, and no one comes. As far as we know, we have not seen a single arrest, even though there's blatant criminal activity. There's blatant political corruption. There's Hell, I'd call it even tax fraud 90% of the time. And we haven't seen arrests. Like, what more evidence do you need than everything we've videoed? And and, uh, any government agency out there, if it has my name on it and I've showed it, more than happy to use it. You don't even need my signature. Just take it and go. Take it to the judge. Go. If this situation happens with me, I'm going to sue. Oh, yeah. I'm going to sue. You should. I'm gonna complain to the bar. I'm gonna I like it's I'm I'm if this shit happens, I'm telling you. Which yeah. I I'm losing my shit, dude. I don't know. Um I'm I uh Chun, I can't do you know what's going on? Because I'm not I'm not at probably least. not, but everyone knows that there's pokes and stabs being pushed at you from all corners right now. I mean if it's not if it's not a, a very loud opinion piece, if it's not, you know, someone putting a post out there trying to catch some traction, talking shit about you, then it's another thing. Then it's pressure on the school board. Then it's, you know, whatever they can to make anything that you're a part of look bad. Next thing they're going to do is start attacking 810. Well, this is what he does on his personal time. And this is how he's trying to campaign. And look how horrible these people are. We already know it's coming. I mean, it's not like it's going to blindside us. What the fuck are you going to do? Or next, they're going to start attacking your parents' legacy. And then that's going to really piss me off. I mean, and if they talk about my kids, they're going to. I'm, I'm bro, I, bro. I mean, going after kids, 
Bro. Where I'm from results to or results in a golf club to the knees. However, we're not from we're not at where I'm from. So whatever Flint does with that sort of thing, Flint does with that sort and of thing. Can, I mean, it's true enough, there's people to be the same thing. And my parents ain't perfect, but even if they did think they ain't stole shit, mm-hmm. they help more people than they, than they allegedly, you know, I don't even know who they hurt, but you know, I mean I know they my dad really pissed the people. My dad has it. My he dad. hurt the the corrupt ones. He yes. wasn't he wasn't going along. Get along. There you go. My dad, so they, oh, uh, he's from out of state. He moved here and and he got he got that position. Well, shit. So did what else? So did Ali. So did. But my dad right, chill the fuck out. Fifteen years before he got into politics. Yeah. You know what I mean? In Flint. So like this, and then he still taught while he was on city council, or you know what I mean? So so like. Come on, man. Like, and then he used his position in in state legislature to still teach. Bring them kids up here so they can see how government's done. All right, shit. I just and I'm I'm not I can't I'm not I'm not one of those people that do the things that I do for notoriety or look at me blah blah blah. I just do it. You know what I mean? Like, but then you see people like the mayor and certain council people. That's all and certain activists. You know what I'm saying? That wherever there's a camera, you find them. Dressed up very well for the occasion and striking a pose in front of that camera. Then as soon as that camera is turned off or they're gone, yeah, they're gone. like, hold up. We're, we're here talking about this thing or hell, even we've, we've come to city council. This is a big issue tonight. Shows up late, mm-hmm. makes a big speech, gets rowdy, decides to make a, a little, I don't want to say propaganda, a, a photo op and then disappears again really quick. Hey, bro, I mean, shit, or city council, you know, hey, guys, we're, we're having a barbecue here, and we're just trying to get community involvement, you know, all this great stuff, they show up, five minutes, get a photo, gone, and then, and then you won't hear them shut the fuck up about it for six months, I was there on this day when we were doing, no, you, you weren't really there, you existed in a place cohabitating with it, you grabbed a plate of food, and then you were gone. Hell, you didn't even eat the food with us. You probably threw it in a garbage can on your way home. This is what Tia said. Genesee County is a mess. The thing about Genesee County is that... Everybody, many when compared to Liddell. <laughs> you can have a warrant. They can issue a warrant for your arrest mm-hmm. and not even notify you. Michigan, they won't notify that you. That is fucked, right? Michigan takes that a step further because anytime they decide that you've done something, hell, it could be a traffic ticket Mm -hmm. within eight years of that. Mm -hmm. They can add more shit to it. Yeah. Yep. Oh, it's been seven years, 350 days. And he said, fuck you to that cop. So we're going to add belligerence. So, so this is what's going on with me, with the mayor and all of them. That's what's I'm not, I'm not saying anything else. That's what's going on. Something happened years ago, and the mayor has this what's going on. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it is what it is. We're just gonna have to crawl through it. We're gonna have to get through it. We're gonna have to do things with it. And hopefully we can get people of trust and and mm, what's that word? Unimpeachable personal character into positions that matter you know i want someone who is willing to look at turn down their best friend in order to get what's best for their ward have have a very loud verbal verbal argument for their ward or someone who's willing to break from their party to get money and resources into their their district Mm -hmm. right Instead, we get motherfuckers that go along to get along, and then the deals that are made aren't, okay, I do this for you in your area, and you do this for me in my areas. I do this for you, you do this for me, and it's all on the personal side. Yeah, I'll get you your vote, and your best friend can get that construction contract. On the back end, I want to make sure that my best friend gets the plumbing contract on that. That's what A.C. Dumas was doing, was trying to do with the board, and he still is right now. I mean, A.C. Dumas... With just those bids that he fucked with, if he runs, I'm going to slam him. 
No, he's back emailing the board about these. About I know. This, this if he runs for that third ward seat, I'm going to slam him. And then I'm going to keep on posting his comments that are, look, I, I'm not. How do I put this? I don't care if you're gay. That's fine and dandy. Um, Love who you love. But if you happen to be gay and you vote for AC Dooms, just remember, he thinks you're a fucking abomination. The man is homophobic as shit. He hates everyone that isn't exactly like him. So just remember that, guys. Like, Know who you're voting for. Know their personal stances on a lot of things. Know their political stances on a lot of things. Because if he decides to run, it's going to be flowery and pretty and political. I'm going to stand for my work. Unless you're gay. Huh? I ain't letting that happen. Yeah, no. Unless you're gay. Unless you don't want to give his friends contracts so he can catch money. Unless, 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 unless. AC Dumas is never going to have my vote. He's never going to have my friendship. He's never even going to get a nod of approval from me. Uh, I'll make that straight up and let it be known. Uh, just because the enemy of my enemy, that, that don't make you my friend. Yeah. That just makes you tomorrow's enemy. Yeah. I'll take down the first one first, and then I'll come after you. The thing about AC, I looked over some things that he said about my mom. Mm. I forgot them. No. But there was a time when my mom was running for a particular office when we were at Murrow School on election day. He came up there thinking that he was going to say whatever he was going to say about my mom. Thank God for my sister. I'm just going to say that. Because if it wasn't for my sister, he would have a severely whooped ass. And I'm saying, y'all hear me saying it. This was back in 90, whatever, or 2000, early 2000s. But no, you ain't going to come up saying, talking shit about my mom to me. And at that time, I didn't care about, I wasn't even thinking about politics. Yeah. You were young, dumb, you know, made of steel, coated in Teflon. And and at that time, I was still playing, I might have been in college playing football. So this ain't the clack that was that clack. Yeah, like, I'm not a fan of AC. I never will be. And then I've seen him, you know, he he hates Republicans. That's they fine. Hate, re- their money. hate whoever you want. Yeah. But he runs around with Matt Smith. Mm-hmm. And Matt Smith is one of the larger reasons I stepped away from the party here in Genesee County. Mm-hmm. If you guys like my views and opinions and who I am and who I purport to be, just know Matt Smith is the antithesis of that. He is the opposite. I will not work with that fucking bastard. And yet I see him and AC Dumas getting, sh- you know, rubbing shoulders and smoozy. Like, nah, you're, you're climbing into the wrong bed, guys. Yeah, I don't, I, I yeah, don't have an issue with Matt Republican. Smith is the former chairperson of the Genesee County Republican Party. Yeah. And he, he's also the kind of guy who threatened a, uh, city clerk to drop out of her race so his friend could win he threatened her by saying he'd kill her fucking dog man threatening is one thing threatening a dog you deserve to have your kneecaps broke fuck you dogs are cool all dogs are perfect ac is the type of guy and i'm not i'm gonna stop saying his name and i'm gonna get off of it but he only shows up when there's a contract thing going on he only shows up when there's a buck to be made right so he can try to influence people that are making the vote so he can go he can so he can go to the companies and say hey i can get you this contract i'll go and influence the board members you just got to give me a certain percentage off the back end that's what he does yeah and then he parades around like he's for black business this black business that and then he'll try to bring shit on me like i'm against black business but i have three mm-hmm. how i how do my first i mean how do you describe yourself I believe uh, you, myself, and Wentz were sitting down. And you said, "Quote, you're blackity black black." Yeah, I as you say it. This, I got a shirt that says, "I'm blackity black." You know what I mean? I mean, <laughs> like, but at the end of the day, you can't say I'm supporting black business, and then you on the back end over here working with this company from with these Chinese people from Detroit. And there's nothing against Asian people from Detroit. I'm just saying, don't come down here fronting like you are. I'm black business, and you were turning against black business, and then you over here. Working with these people? Are you over here working with the Burnash company? Are you over here? And there's nothing wrong with Heather Burnett. I like Heather. I do. This is a shot at AC. Yeah. Well, what? I think it's about time because you and I always go over. I don't care about going over. We can go to two thirty if you want to. Mickey ain't here. Give him ten minutes. You will be. But <laughs> <laughs> no. So 
I'm expecting to see some changes in council. First ward seat, we already know that's been given up. Everything last night was just a show. They, they've already got their pick. Mm -hmm. I, I can damn near guarantee you, and I haven't spoke to anyone from council since uh, since I went up there and Jerry and Tanya were babying me, and then Jan stole my Red Bull and mugged me. You know, but I can guarantee you that a lot of them have been talking to each other. Um, a few of them probably been talking to the mayor and wanting to know who he wants there. Oh, you know, a man last night walked up to the microphone during uh, public speaking said, I'm dropping out because I was called and he gave a shout out to the mayor for at least being honest that the fix was in. They already have their choice, even though he's the best qualified can. I'm sitting here he like, that. oh God, I can't even remember his name because I was gaming. But what did he look like? like he uh, dude? No. Nah, uh, he, he had some, I believe it was like some dreads or some shit. Like, I was playing video games at the same time, and I had it up on my other screen. So, the guy called it out like that, right? So, everything was for show. Mm -hmm. And while some legit questions were asked, and then some bullshit flowery questions were asked, mm -hmm. you know, some softballs and whatnots, like, it doesn't matter. Liberty dropped out, too? Yeah. Several dropped. I like her. I just think that... I, I I like Liberty. Um, Liberty is one of those people that has a thousand and one resources, and she mm -hmm. knows everybody in her neighborhood in her area. I just think that she needs to get with. So a lot of people were calling for Carol, but Carol was somehow disqualified because of the new funky rules they have. Carol didn't want to be appointed. She wasn't going for the uh, appointment. She, a lot of people were screaming at the, at the We want Carol. But yeah. all right, I like Rose. Mm -hmm. I've talked with Rose. I've worked with Rose um, doing things in the community. Rose is a hell of a person. I don't think she's going to get it. I don't either. And I think she's my choice for the appointment. Because, like, I know she'll stand up to bullshit. Mm -hmm. Hell, she's a former cop. Mm -hmm. She's used to those high adrenaline, high pressure situations where she knows that if she says something that she's going to catch a lot of retaliation, she don't give a fuck. Oops. I, 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 that's the, I, Anna, uh, I'm sorry, Anna, I do, I, I, I want her to do it. Yeah. <laughs> you already know, dude. Once it hits an hour, I'm right. Hello? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Was I doing all that talking for nothing? Oh man, I was saying some good stuff too. I don't forget. No, I'm just playing. But no, I was saying I really would like to sit down and just get to know Liberty. Um, I think that there's a there's a spot for her. Um, I just don't know if it was the first ward seat, but I do like her for something. Um, I don't know what, but I like the comment Anna from about her running for the state board of education. Although that's a bigger um, platform, more more campaigning. I like her for something. Um, I, I do. I really think that a lot of the people that were there, that the thing about 
when you when you want when you start talking about running for an office and I had to learn this real fast. Anybody can talk from emotion. Anybody can, you know, but what can you do to change? What is your idea to change what you see going on that's not right or that needs to be changed? Anybody can say, yeah, the water bad. Everybody know that. Or yeah, the road's bad. Or yeah, this. But what are what do you have in, in mind to change a policy to help it, to switch it, to change it? Like that's that's the point that I don't think people really, you know, uh put a lot of thought into it's cool to recognize an issue but what can you do differently yeah. to change it it's I mean? easy to see that you know, dude's bleeding to death how are you gonna unbleed him to death like uh oh did I say something wrong do what nothing what you getting in trouble I just got a text from uh oh screenshot it and send it to me no, it wasn't a bad text. Dude. I'm nosy. Hey, what is this? There's a lot that I saw last night. Like some of the answers from the candidates, or I don't know what to call them because they're not candidates. They're not running for something. I guess uh, interviewees. Mm -hmm. Like because a lot of the issues that happen in Flint come down to money governance and or it's lack therein of right mm -hmm. i think honestly what would have given me all the hope in the world is if one of them said i want to check the books see what programs are being funded that aren't working so we can cut them because the residents are paying for services that they aren't receiving mm -hmm. you know taxes are your price for living in society right so as a society you get the benefit of a police force you get the benefit of a fire department you get the benefit of ems you get the benefit of running water of this of that of the third of working roads obviously we don't have those here in flint or we have agencies with the face of them but not the work why they're underfunded well what is taking up so much of our funding that these can't get funded people's personal lives oh yeah it, you need to go through, find out which programs and are being funded that aren't working. You need to figure out where the, the leaks are that are going into people's personal pockets, what we're overpaying on, what we're paying for that just doesn't exist. Because I'm pretty sure there's two or three programs out there that are receiving money that those programs no longer fucking exist. I'd like to think that there's two or three or four or five, maybe 10 or 12 people that are getting paid and don't exist. Yeah. Right. So if any one of those candidates had said that, and I get it, the instant you say that you're not winning, you're not getting selected because now you just threaten people's livelihood. Mm -hmm. You just threaten people's, you know, third paycheck or, or summer homes or whatever. You want to take a call? I got somebody just text me and want to want to call. Is it art? No. Okay. No, like, don't get me wrong. I'd still answer if it's art. But you know, I ain't no telling what art might yeah, like no, but yeah, art, I, art, I, art can get crazy. He he has all the all the all the information, all the fun, and I all might the receipts. Get me in trouble if he calls. <laughs> but Tia too, she might give me this is Tia. She wants to call. Go ahead, Tia. Call oh me. Jesus. Go ahead, Tia. Call me. Oh Jesus. No, Art is at his daughter's basketball game at Michigan State. His granddaughter's basketball game. Yeah, I forgot he's old. He ain't that old, but. You know, he's going to come in here and say this old man can beat this whippersnapper's ass, right? <laughs> he's going to get mad at me for calling him old. All right, this is Trevor's first time taking the call on the bunt, on the rant, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's try Hold not on. to get me sued. Hold on. How do I? It, 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 it. Hello? Yeah. Let me turn the volume up. Okay. All right, there you go. All right, audience, can you hear our call in? Can y'all hear the call in? Can Okay, keep going. Can they hear me? Keep going. I don't know if they can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. I was going to say um, that back when um, I was working with um, a friend of mine on her campaign, because um, I'm an alumni of North Carolina a and um, I came out in 2004. What's them Bulldogs? Um, uh, Aggies. Aggies, yes. <laughs> Puppies. Yeah, we was in the swag and the MEAC and all that good stuff. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
But this is what um, this lady, she was a professional um, political strategist, and I found this to work well um, with matching up, like, candidates with people. Have you asked your candidate, what type of plan do you have? Um, I know you say you, you know, like, for example, like when these people say, oh, I want to fix the roads and I want to, you know, change the water. Well, ask them, how would you go about that? What company would you use? Um, you know, and, and why? Why would you use this particular company? You know, I think it's important. Like, have them um, before they come, because, you know, some interviews you have, not interviews, but uh, some political forums, you do have the... Um, the ability to be able to um, get the questions ahead of time. And so let's say you guys had a forum and people had to have like the questions ahead of time. Mm -mm. If, if I throw a forum, you ain't getting no questions ahead of time. You know that, Trevor. Like, <laughs> Hey, Clank, um, what are we talking about? No, uh, uh, no you're going to find out when you yeah, get there. Uh -uh. Damn, dude. Uh, Trevor's my boy and I wasn't, you know, like, you know, I wasn't trying to get a leg up. I was yeah. just wondering, like, what the general topics are going to be. This yeah. man is acting like I'm asking him the codes to, uh -uh. like, his bank account and shit. Mm -mm. But, yeah, go ahead, too. Like, what I'm saying is, like, you know, I think it's important that before we put these people in seats, we need to check their competency level. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm thinking, and, you know, like, what I'm saying is, okay, well, like, for example, you know, uh, Quincy always talking about getting the business of the city done. Ask him, Quincy, what the hell is the business of the damn city? Do you know? You know? Is Whatever it the mayor the puts people? in front of me. Is it cleaning up the park? Is it cutting? Quincy, it's taking the big up the city. And I think if people hear that. Uh-oh, you're breaking up, do you? Hello? Damn, TN Clack broke up. I think Des has the exact okay, right I right stepped, there. And my, um, I'm sorry, y'all. I had stepped out of the truck and my Bluetooth, um, unpaired from my phone. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yep, yep. Okay. Yeah, what I was saying was, like, for example, so that, you know, it'll kind of, I think it'll help curb having people who are incompetent in office by having them to prepare for these questions, you know, a week or so ahead of time. You know, we need to know, like, when you say taking care of the business of the city, what the hell is the business of the city? What does that mean to you? Um, not only that, you know, what, um, what improvements do you plan to make? For the city okay well what is your plan how are you going to go about doing this and they should be able to give you detailed information if they can't give you detailed information that's not your person mm -hmm. that's 100 percent right you know and um that was something that we did like i said um that particular uh political um campaign and stuff and even though it was on campus still to this day excuse me still to this day i utilize it because it makes sense for me when i go in as an independent voter and you know and those are the type questions that i ask like okay. to me the biggest issue in flint is always going to be economic so how do i pad okay. the pockets i'm gonna call you back to you so how do I pad the pockets of the people who actually live in the city? How am I going to raise their standard of living? Well, raising standard of living usually means more money, right? Mm -hmm. So what am I going to do as a council person, as a state rep, as a mayor, as a congressman to bring money here for my people, right? For the people of Flint, for the people of a ward, of the people of a congressional district, whatever, Oh, Jesus, that's a long one. <laughs> Give me a second to finish up my thought here, right? And I haven't heard one person talk about how they're going to bring more business or more money into Flint, and especially into the people's pockets. Now, obviously, we can't trust, like, federal funds to come into the city and then the city take care of its residents. No, it's always going to take care of the nonprofits. Mm -hmm. Nonprofits that have over $40 billion fucking dollars 
in assets in this damn city. Like they need the money, right? <laughs> so how are we gonna how are we gonna help the people? And to me, that's always bringing in business and reputable businesses. I don't want any place that's gonna pay you a dog's wage for a man's labor. Wait a minute, we got one. Fast Eddie, who you got? I missed it. Who you got? There was one candidate that responded. Man, I like the one that was giving Quincy grief too, and I forgot his name, but he had a beard, glasses, and a hat. No sound. Did you break it? Someone said no sound. No. Wait a minute. I turned to the, the microphone up, my mic up. All right, you go ahead and talk. Yeah. You're on two. Okay. Let me I'm on two. Yeah. Yeah. The, the man who was uh who wore glasses, a hat, and had a beard, rather heavy set gentleman. He was giving Quincy grief. Quincy was talking about the charter. He goes, Well, do you know the charter? Like, shit. I like this guy already. At the same time, it seems like he is kind of imitating Maze because he saw him on YouTube and you know, okay, well, Maze would give that kind of answer. Mm -hmm. uh, at the moment, I was just like, man, that's fucking awesome. Then he said he's a vet, and I'm like, cool. And then he said in the Army, he shot an AR-15. I'm like, Army has him for us, bro. Can I see your DD-214? Mm -hmm. there's, there's a lot that I was, it was just catching me last night. There were some funny moments. There were some letdowns. Wait a minute. You're right. What is DD-214? The release paper? Yep. So meaning if he was really in the Army, he would have a DD-214. That, and I'm not really calling him into question if he was or wasn't. Because that's stolen valor. Stolen. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, to see what his job was, because right. he, he might have been a paper pusher and only handled the rifle in basic, and it's been 30-plus years for him or some shit, right? Like, how long ago, or what, what did you do? You know? That that's one of those things. Like, all right, I just want to see what your MOS is now. If you can produce it. Yeah. Eight more minutes. So. Uh, Anna knows exactly what's up with that DD two fourteen. Whether you get benefits or not, I just helped a friend of mine uh, get his DD two fourteen. He didn't get it when he got out. He's been out for like fifteen years. Uh, there was some trouble on the back end. Like, I almost didn't get mine when uh, I left Fort Carson because I didn't clear. I didn't go to every station. But then again, I was on extra duty. We're not going to talk about that one today. All right. But yeah, I do know there's an M4. M4, M16, and then you got the IAW, which the Marines use. IAW 27, I believe. So does M stand for military? Model. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you got the M4, M9, uh, the M14, huh? M60, M60, uh, M240 Bravo, M249, and then once you get up to larger than a 50 cal, uh, then it it goes into different. Well, no, the 50 cal's an M2, but then you get to the Mark 19, which Navy designation. I do know that. Also, Mr. Steers. Don't you get a patch for, is it there a patch for whatever you're getting? That, 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 In the arm, yeah. So this right here, the bottom one is uh, the division I served with and that gets worn on on your shoulder. And then you, when you deploy, you get to wear one of those patches on your other shoulder. So. Uh, but you don't get multiple patches for the same deployment or like it for, for deploying to the same place. No, like if I had deployed to, uh, yeah, all right. So I was with the 4th Infantry. I deployed with the 4th Infantry, got back, I was with the 4th Infantry. If I had um, moved to a different unit and deployed again, I could have wore that unit's patch or the, the, my original. Okay. Oh, uh, Bishop Chief Priestley, this is Clack. Mickey, I'm uh, El Jefe uh, Vice President today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got the dynamic duo in here today because uh, Mickey's paying his respects. Mm -hmm. and uh, Great. great. Wintus is with them, of course, because those two are the other dynamic duo. Mm -hmm. We are sorry if you tuned in late. We've been on. Uh, we're about to jump off of here, but Carol and I will be on at five o'clock. You know that's going to be. Carol. I want to hear what Carol has to say about a uh, a lot of the. Uh, yeah, I, I hate calling them candidates because they're they're not running. Mm -hmm. They're like looking for a job. So yeah. But yeah, thanks for tuning in, Bishop T. Priestley. Always nice to have you.
you know, folks pop on in and listen to me bitch moan and complain. Yeah, I um hear my conspiracy theories. I haven't had a chance to I've been to Compton. Um uh I was I born up the, the street. Of, the part of Compton I was in was not Compton, it was Bompton. <laughs> I found that out because I had the wrong colors on. <laughs> but yeah, T Priest uh Bishop Priestley Flowers. Uh I've been to LA a few times and I I Yeah, I was born up the street. I was born in Whittier and mm-hmm. then mom and dad lived in La Havre while dad was working at the naval base. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh yeah. Anybody else got some questions real quick before we jump up off of here? Um, I also support Carol in the first award for the general and I mean, uh, not the general. The, uh, It'd be a special election if and when they ever pass a resolution for it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like so, seriously, if whoever happens to be appointed or any of the people that applied for that job are watching. First thing you should do if you get in that seat is approach attorney Kim, Bill, just go, hey, Bill, I want a resolution written up for a election for this seat as soon as possible. Well, let's try to link it with the ninth ward election. It shouldn't be all that hard because you've already got all the infrastructure there for the ninth and seventh ward elections. That and a DPW director so they can at least make sure all the stuff is getting done. God, but no one wants to work in Flint. I would do it. But then again, you know, I'm you would have to work for Shelly. So no, <laughs> I would have to work for him, but I would also have the, well, I guess I could, but no, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. He would fire you on the spot and give you that's the worst I, exit interview of all time. I didn't even bother applying for the ombudsman position. It's like, yeah, I'm going to about to apply. But then again, he does, said, if you want my answer on that bullshit, like I think it was stupid and it hurt the entire party. Um, so a lot of the RNC donations are going to be sent to Trump to pay off that fucking legal fee. You can do that? Apparently so. I don't know. But that's going to hurt smaller elections, Congress, Senate, on downward, even local. Because a lot of those uh, candidates really, really, really do count on party donations and party help. And if that's the case, I can use hey, y'all. Donate to me because I got a fine to pay so I can run against the mayor's wife. So yeah, I need to yeah, I need to pay off this fine. So it's gonna get paid regardless, but yeah, I need some money. Yeah, no, I, I don't like it. That's another reason why I've gone the more libertarian route. Anytime I do anything political, I don't confer with the Republican Party anymore. Mm-hmm. Like that and then their whole religious dogma bullshit, like, hey, can can we respect our, our Muslim countrymen or Buddhist countrymen? No, it has to be Christian laws. Hey, how about you go fuck yourself? Uh, Mr. Steers, I'm working on that at Northwestern. Northwest Northern is a little bit way too gone. I don't know what I'm doing. Mm. Jeezy reference. Yeah, nah. Yeah, Northern is a little bit too gone for our liking to even try to think about doing something with it. We can sell it off to somebody else and let them deal with that headache. Yeah, there you go. These are things that, you know, if someone who had a, you know, and this is someone on the board or whatever would have had gumption to do something about these buildings 10, 15, 20 years ago we wouldn't have these issues, these big ass eyesores and these, you know. Question, so you guys as the board, Mm -hmm. could you just strip all the metal out of there, crush it down and then sell it to a scrapyard and then make a bit of money like that for the the district? Like the, the max I think you can get is like, just looking at Northern, you might pick up like total 80k but 80k is a decent chunk of change if you guys just strip all the teacher salary there you go well in flint that's two uh, <laughs> i think that's closer to three my friend you know, but yeah why don't you you know that, that could be a thing no northern is not as oh, bad as central no you couldn't because the the strippers and the meth heads have already gotten there my bad bro i didn't mean to give you hope yeah no um <laughs> no we, we've got about one minute left you guys come um Come on back at five when me and Carol jump on. But yeah, that that was uh, some of the stuff that I was planning on doing up at Northwestern with that old the I beams that I was talking. You know, mm-hmm. um, we could scrap that stuff and have that stuff go towards the new stadium or go towards whatever. You know what I mean? And some teachers, you know, maybe getting some some clothes for kids or whatever. Yeah, Airbnb influence in Flint. <laughs> in Flint. Man, that 
that would be where people come to put on weight because they're going to drink the water and get all that lead in their Man, toes. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I've heard it. I saw a post on Facebook the other day. Somebody, somebody had an Airbnb and the owner was living across the street and they was messing with him. Um, I saw that. I think I, that might have been Tony Wiggins that posted that. Man, wait a minute. I'm there's an the Airbnb. Airbnb. Actually, there might be one across the street from me because I see a whole bunch of different cars at all times. Mm -hmm. Like, it's either that or a crack house. I, I don't know. know Airbnb. That's the that's the car. There. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, I might just go pick up a paintball gun and just start harassing him. Oh, man, you better leave them folk alone. Let them smoke in peace. Smoke where I can't, where I don't have to deal with you. Oh well, yeah. All right. Yeah. Especially getting drunk or getting high and driving up and down my street. Like, you run over one of them squirrels that my wife likes, she's going to go ape shit. She liked them squirrel. So it is now time to say goodbye. Goodbye. To all my 810 friends. Um, Tune in for Clack and Carol, because you know Carol's going to have a... Like, Carol, don't be letting me talk. That's why I'm on here talking with you. <laughs> I'll be sitting there like, all right, now it's my turn. Damn, I forgot what I was about to say. Yeah, it Car was good too. Carol's gonna gonna get wild. I'm on the bet. Like, sit there. I would answer like this. I would answer like this, and fuck this guy for saying it like that. Yeah. So, pop on in, listen up, folks. See what she has to say. Hopefully, Clack gets an opportunity to talk tonight. And then, of course, we got Sister Sir. I gotta fight every day to prove. <laughs> <laughs> then we got sister circle tonight then club rich after that and then uh talking with tanya tomorrow yeah yeah i mean if you're awake I, if you're me you know after i have a sip or two of that scotch tonight Let me start my concrete. Thanks, i might <laughs> i might be uh passing out I, I, I don't know dude i i can't i can't drink no more one little sip in his bed thing so yeah i'm gonna have uh I'm good. Oh, I suck at life. Thank Tanya's you guys. Canceled. Tanya's oh, yeah, canceled. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm so I'm sorry. You know what? Maybe we can have Mickey and Tanya talk tonight about her favorite episode that she's done and just have him run it as a rerun. Because uh, you know, we we pick up more people every day and I think some folks would benefit from seeing one of the better one of Tanya's favorite episodes. I think you can double dip. Just have the computer run one and then have the phone run the other. Now, I think that'd be really cool to see uh, Councilwoman Burns' favorite episode in the past being put up as a rerun, mm -hmm. and then uh, also the funeral. Yeah. Well, well, Clubhouse well, Saturday. Oh, God. If there is, I'm going to be in and out because I'm going to be gaming Saturday, and I can't have my phone going off all crazy with the clubhouse, and some of y'all get get wild in there. While I'm trying to talk with my friends from the UK, because like Europe don't understand American colloquialisms, they're sitting there. That sounds so violent. Yeah. No, it's American. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. No, I, I jumped on the clubhouse call late because I, I, I wasn't gonna do it. I popped I, on I, I, like I three times. Going to do it. Shout out to Anna because you know I, I was not going to do it. I I, I, I was like, I'm about to walk into that. They, they ain't about to be mm -mm, nope attacking me. Nope. And then I yeah. was like, you know what? <laughs> I had that that effort kicked in and it was like, all right, here I come. Yeah. Well, it seems like you got some leeway and, and some, you know, mending of bridges that happened. I just had to tell I, I wasn't there. Like I, I was busy playing Pow World or Hell Divers. I can't remember which. I was either capturing cute Pokemon, shooting them with a gun in the game, or I was killing mini bugs. least explain why i was coming from the direction i was coming from you know so i'm glad i did because you know it is what it is so everybody trevor you got your last words merry christmas it's snowing like it yeah all right whoever thought that the words spring and snow go together just needs to be taken out back and shot all right you northerners are fucking weird. If it's spring, there is no snow. There's damn sunshine and rain showers. Ain't no snow. What the fuck is going on? It's cold. We got five seasons. <laughs> no. Now you don't have seasons. You have random bouts of bipolar weather at any time. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, you guys. Um, we get ready to sign off. Be back at five for Carol and Clack. Um, and eight for... Clackle? 
Clarel, Clack, Clack and Carol Clackle, yeah. Clarel. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we'll see y'all later. Have a good one. I'll be leaving the studio. Yeah, uh, up there, and then punch it again. Yeah.